happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah today we've got the clip that you guys all want to see guys we got a very interesting clip surfacing of white house press secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre absolutely losing it, guys. She walks out on the press with no answers at all. I'm honestly surprised to see this because of how placated the questions usually are, you know, that are posed to her versus what Kaylee McEnany was, you know, um, facing during um, the Trump administration. It just doesn't make sense why she would need to walk out when, you know, she's usually getting these placated questions. What's so tough for you to answer? I am excited to check this one out and see exactly what made Corrine Jean-Pierre absolutely crack like an egg guys we're gonna hop straight into it guys and i'll get my thoughts on the back end of the video so definitely stick around guys for the entire video so you guys can get my thoughts on the back end guys but yo let's jump into it guys oh wait before we do that make sure you guys hit that like button guys it does not cost a thing hit that like button for your boy also hit that subscribe button guys we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind. Oh, you know things are going bad, you know it's pretty much the beginning of the end here to use the leftist term against them when they're running away. When you're doing a little no comment and then running away from the microphone in complete panic, well then you know your days are pretty much numbered, you're guilty, you've been caught, and now it's just a matter of staying silent and hoping for the best and mm. avoiding conflict, running away, keeping a low profile, avoiding the heat, so to speak. Well, that seems to be exactly Exactly what the Biden administration is doing. Another piece of evidence against the Biden crime family has dropped this one, arguably one of the most substantial pieces. As the case continues to build up, there's clearly some there there. And so obviously that's going to be a question asked during the White House press conference that followed the next day. And well, Corrine Jean-Pierre's response, her reaction, boy, does it tell you everything you need to know. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, friends, so let's start off here at the Gateway Pun. It. Kareem John Pierre brushes off questions about bombshell bank records showing Hunter Biden payments to Joe Biden, walks out of briefing room. White House Press Secretary Kareem John Pierre walked out of the press briefing room after a reporter asked a question about Hunter Biden's payments to Joe Biden. Joe Biden has repeatedly claimed that he never took a dime from China and was never involved in his son Hunter's overseas business dealings. Real Clear reporter Philip Wegman asked Kareem John Pierre about the new bank records released by Chairman Comer, and well, this is what happened. Watch. Thank you. Uh, the White House has said repeatedly that the president and his son were never in business together. They've said that repeatedly also in this room. Um, according to bank records obtained by the House Oversight Committee, though, uh, one of that was a lot. Biden's businesses, Osawa PC, set up direct payments to the president. Uh, did the president accept payment? And why would there be such an arrangement if they were never in business together or if there was a wall of separation, as the president has previously said? So I have to be uh, clear with you. I, I have not seen that report, so I would have to refer you to my colleagues over at the White House Counsel's Office on that particular question. All right, everyone. I'll see some of you in Boston or on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I mean, what a pathetic response. You know, I'd argue that Trump faced much worse accusations and allegations than Joe Biden ever faced. I mean, of course, there's a distinction here. Everything that Donald Trump was accused of was pretty much a hoax, part of some elaborate witch hunt. But he faced some serious accusations of crime, treason. I mean, Trump was essentially being accused of some of the worst stuff that you could be accused of, and it's still happening. Well, Kayleigh McEnany took some pretty tough questions on a lot of these accusations, and she answered every single one of them with facts getting into the details. If anything, that shows the difference. The Trump administration actually had a defense, actually had a counter argument. This administration has no response because they know that everything that's been provided, everything that's been revealed is legitimate. Everything related to Joe Biden's scandal here in reference to his years of corruption and bribery, well, they don't have the ability to go into the details and go into the facts and provide sources and resources, testimony as to why they're innocent. Joe Biden is guilty. Joe Biden knows it. Hunter Biden knows it. Corrine Jean-Pierre knows it. The White House Council knows it. The mainstream media knows it. The Democrat Party knows it. Everybody freaking knows that this guy is a criminal. And that's what explains the response. 
Because if he was innocent, well, the response would be quite clear. Yes, we saw what the Republicans posted, but here's our counter evidence. Here's why their information is incorrect. Here's the actual accounting and explanation for every dollar that was spent and sent to Joe Biden over the years. Here's the evidence for the, quote, loan repayment. Here's where the money came from. They have nothing. None of it. You would expect Joe Biden to have accounting for every single penny that he and his family have ever made. They are a multi-millionaire family. Everything they do as a family, every dollar that is earned, every dollar that is mobilized and moved, is accounted for. They have accountants and lawyers, LLCs, trust funds. Everything is done on paper, documented, when it comes to personal finance and family finance for a family like Joe Biden's. You mean to tell me that we have all kinds of monies that can't be explained that has a connection to Hunter Biden and his business dealings with foreign oligarchs? You mean to tell me it was just a whoopsies? A mistake? Joe Biden's accountant must have just forgot about this $200,000 loan repayment. Give me a frickin' break. They're panicking. I mean, the Democrats must be panicking about absolutely everything at this point. Their economic policies didn't produce the dividends that they were hoping for. The border policies, complete chaos. Foreign policy, complete chaos. But most importantly, the American people, when polled, all resoundingly reject piss pants Joe on all of these issues. Then when it comes to the issue of possible corruption or involvement in his son Hunter Biden's business dealings, again, the American people, a super majority of the American electorate, believe that Joe Biden was involved in some way, shape, or form in Hunter's business. And many people, I think it's a majority at this point, believe that he acted unethically or possibly criminally. We've covered all the polls. There's no win. There's no running away from this. Democrats are going to have to tackle this one head on. Because if they keep doing what they're doing, well, at some point, the chickens are going to come home to roost at some point the explanation isn't going to suffice at some point people are going to say whoa okay we don't accept the explanation here and i think that's what's going on i don't accept this explanation if there is credible evidence that you did something wrong and i confront you and i mean at this point it's like look i'm presenting the evidence this is what you did please explain it there's only a couple legitimate responses there's one which is yes i did that i messed up I apologize and you hope for redemption, right? There's that response or there's no, I am innocent. Here is why I'm innocent. Here's the evidence. The third response is well. All right, everyone. See some of you in Boston or on Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you. And that, my friends, the American people are not buying. Nobody is buying Joe Biden's defense. And frankly, I think at this point, people aren't buying the Joe Biden image in general. Joe Biden is a trash person. He's a bad person. And I'm going to say it, he's also a bad father. He's not just a bad politician who's self-interested and only cares about himself. It extends to his duties as a father. You might think, well, oh, I wouldn't go that far. No, I'm going that far. Because just think about what this scandal means. Joe Biden had a son who had a severe, debilitating crack addiction. And his response as a father wasn't let's get my son help let's figure out what we got to do as a family to get our son back joe biden's response what joe biden was doing was getting his crackhead son at the time to create llc's where he got 10 percent of the profit share what joe biden was doing was flying his son on air force two to sell the biden family brand and what he did was inundate his family not only with millions but also his son hunter with millions just think about that a supposed concerned parent with a drug addicted son put his son in a situation to make millions of dollars and fly the globe while smoking crack. Hunter Biden could have been arrested in various countries for drug use, paraphernalia, smuggling, whatever it is. Hunter Biden could have overdosed. A severe drug addict with millions of dollars in the bank account, all of that being facilitated by his father, that sounds like a recipe for an overdose. That sounds like a recipe for doing too many drugs and never coming back. You mean to tell me that that's Uncle Joe, the good all-American guy? Uncle Joe is a bad person, a bad politician, and the evidence continues to mount. And any argument to the contrary is whatever the hell damn Dan Goldman, whatever conspiracy theories Dan Goldman is spreading on the House floor, and well, Kareem Jean-Pierre running away from the heat. Joe Biden is a criminal, and I will take that. I will believe that till I'm six feet on. Anyway. Yo, there we have it, guys. That was bizarre. Very interesting to see Kareem Jean-Pierre just walking out, guys, waltzing out of that interview. Yo, big shouts to the liberal hive mind for coming at us with this video. Definitely, uh, we'll leave the original video link down in the description box below for you guys to go check out and show my guys some love but oh my goodness guys that is almost a minutes to guilt right there in itself the way she walked out she took a no more i mean i, I would understood if she took a couple more questions but she took a no more questions she was like i'll see you guys some of you guys i'll see on wednesday some of you guys i'll see elsewhere you know 
Bye, I'll see you when I see you. Kind of exit is what it looked like to me. She left so abruptly, guys. It almost was like she admitted her boss was guilty. I am so happy to see that, you know, the left is finally being held accountable, especially um, the Biden administration is being held accountable. Um, and getting asked those tough questions, not getting those placated questions anymore. This is what we need to see. These are the answers that the Americans have been demanding this whole time. We've been asking what's going on. This has been almost blatant evidence put in front of our face. This guy, Joe, is there's no wall in between him and Hunter Biden's business dealings. Guys, this this is intertwined. It's connected and it's, it's thriving together. Joe Biden has been feeding off his son, and it's clear to see that Joe has been doing this, guys. I don't understand why it's taking so long for the press to stop, you know, playing these games, give the people what they want to see. We need answers, guys. We don't want to see our president, you know, uh, keep brushing off our questions. Joe Biden most of the time doesn't even take um, any questions from the press as far as, you know, um, any of his Hunter Biden dealings, stuff like He always brushes it straight off, guys. So I'm glad to see that someone's finally out there holding them accountable guys definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts um how far do you think this would go and do you think that the press will keep holding the left accountable for you know what's going on with the biden administration or what has went on between biden yo also make sure you guys smash that like button guys it does not cost a thing hit a like button for your boy also hit that subscribe button guys we're on my road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one week Go.